What's up, gamers? Droopcast guy here, and good morning. I just woke up. Seems like a lot of people are just waking up, and it seems the Nintendo Switch 2 has officially leaked with full pictures of the console, specifications to its power, and it looks actually pretty awesome. I am extremely excited for the Nintendo Switch 2, so let's take a look at how it looks. Hi. Hope you're having a great day. If you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I just woke up like 45 seconds ago, so I apologize if I sound slightly out of it. But honestly, I was just so excited, I immediately had to turn this on. So there are two separate sources that are talking about this. Somebody posted a bunch of stuff on Gaming Leaks and Rumors, the Reddit. Now, I love this Reddit a lot. These are leaked factory prototypes. Now, in case that seems a bit wishy-washy, multiple journalists now have said this does actually match what seems to be the real specifications. Now, each different version of the Nintendo Switch, from the original Nintendo Switch to the OLED Nintendo Switch and the tiny little handheld Nintendo Switch Lite, all of those had identical leaks to the one we're looking at now. All of those ended up having leaked photos from Chinese factories. So I think this is legit. Now, these are apparently 3D renderings of what the factory is like. I guess like the, the prototype of how it spits it out. And as you can see, it's a bigger Nintendo Switch. It's straight up just a Nintendo Switch. They're still keeping the Joy-Cons. They're keeping the bigger back thingy from the Nintendo Switch OLED model where the kickstand is no longer just a little tiny thing. One thing that did jump out to me is not only does it still have a headphone jack, thank God, since so many things are trying to get rid of headphone jacks, but I did notice it has a built-in microphone, which is pretty good. Going back to that is very cool. The fact that it is keeping the original Joy-Con design, still very good by me. Hopefully it's more durable than our current Joy-Con, since obviously we've had uh, multiple Joy-Con... Oh my god, we've had multiple Joy-Con lawsuits. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's insane. So... This is the size of the normal Nintendo Switch. You can tell by the little tiny uh, original kickstand versus the uh, upgraded model, the Nintendo Switch 2. That is a big, big upgrade. Wow. So I guess if the console is bigger, then the Joy-Cons are going to be a lot bigger as well. Wow. It's, it's wild to see it, but that does seem to be the actual Nintendo Switch. Now, there has been some debate as to whether they're actually going to call it Nintendo Switch 2. Some people think the name Nintendo Switch 2 is fake. I believe it's real simply because it does seem like Nintendo is a bit afraid of moving away from the brand of Nintendo Switch because it's the biggest thing they've ever done. Like, Nintendo has made billions and billions of dollars off Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon, but this is their biggest money maker ever. There's memes about how the Nintendo Switch is just a money printer, but along with these specifications, oh wow, look at that, we even had an exact eight inch large screen wow man that's that's so good but here's the other thing that managed to leak in this which the person who posted this also posted nintendo switch specifications now this is less verifiable there's a ton of stuff about how it all works and I found a comment over on Reddit that, so there's there's a lot of stuff. I'm going to link this in the description box for the more tech savvy. A lot of this to me looks like shipping manifests in Shinmu. Yeah, that's right. I got to make a Dreamcast reference. But there is somebody here who broke it down in the most layman's sense. It sounds like this, even in its handheld form, the way that when you're playing the Nintendo Switch, playing it on the TV looks better than playing it on handheld. That's why if you ever look at those videos, they say docked gameplay versus uh, handheld gameplay. In handheld mode, it's going to be a little bit more powerful than a PlayStation 4. Now, keep in mind the games that are on the PlayStation 4. Red Dead Redemption, stuff like Grand Theft Auto, Final Fantasy XV. These are games that are not just big, that aren't just fun. 
they're incredible. So the power of this being slightly above, oops, I clicked it, uh, this being above the power of a PlayStation 4 in handheld is kind of nuts, whereas docked, it'll have roughly the power of a PlayStation 4 Pro or an Xbox Series S. Oh my god. So it's going to be close to sort of relatively recent hardware, so five-year out-of-date chip, uh, slower than a PS5, PSX when it comes to RAM in the speed department, but more capacity than the Xbox Series S should have between 10.5 and 11 gigs of RAM. Oh my god, this is so interesting. So... Other sources have chimed in on this about how this is definitely seemingly real. It does seem to actually be legit. Nearly 12 gigs of RAM confirmed awesome. Now, this, I think, is going to be an interesting thing because the Nintendo Switch was so overwhelmingly successful, it pretty much created its own lane. I mean, undeniably, anybody who says, oh, uh, people aren't going to want to put stuff on this because developers hate porting stuff to the Xbox Series S, why would they put up with it when it comes to Nintendo? I think the difference is, not only is the Nintendo Switch extremely popular, I do think the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to do the same thing, where it is going to have such a big standalone audience in that the attach rate of the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch people, they show up, they buy games, sometimes multiple games, like multiple copies of the same game, getting a physical and a digital copy of a bunch of their games. I think developers are probably going to support the heck out of this. As of a couple days ago, there was these all these developers that were taking strange selfies at the Nintendo headquarters here in America. There are a lot of rumblings that the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming out probably around April of next year, and they're really pushing to have what they typically don't have. I think a lot of the biggest problems with the beginning of the Nintendo Switch was the fact that it didn't have a ton of games instantly coming out. It sounds like this time around they're trying to fix that mistake and give us a lot more tools to developers so they can have their games available day one. I think the Nintendo Switch 2 early guess, I think it's going to be a just absolutely explosive, just industry altering event when it comes out. And I'm dead serious about that. Mark it down. I'm saying this on September 18th. I think the Nintendo Switch 2 is a, uh, is going to break the internet and it's going to, it's going to totally redefine handheld gaming. And I'm excited to see it. I'll be honest with you, I have not played my Nintendo Switch like at all this entire year. In fact, I lent it to my girlfriend and her kids like months ago. So I haven't even played my Nintendo Switch in like five months because they're playing Mario Kart. So uh, honestly, hell yeah. What do you guys think about this though? Does this actually look like a good system? Does the layout look good? How do you feel about the system itself? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below and please, if you could, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already and please keep dreaming. Nintendo, please don't copyright strike this. Please, I'm just, I'm just looking at leaks. Uh, okay, and we also have to talk about uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered. Next video. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.